Jared, just your, your open thoughts on, on tonight's game and you know, the result. Great college basketball game. They made one more play than we did. I mean, I thought we got a good look down the stretch, missed a couple free throws, but that's that's not the reason we lost. Um, we got to get better. It's November 5th. I just told our guys our season's not going to be defined by a win or a loss on November 5th. So you get back to practice tomorrow, you try and get better, you get ready for Rutgers. It's, it's a long season. And, yeah, it hurts because I think our kids competed and wanted to win and played the right way and played for each other. But we have to go through some adversity to become a really good team and a really good program, and we're going to do those things. When you have an opening night where it's, you know, it comes down to you know, a couple of points, one possession like that, back and forth, I mean, for you guys to compete the way you did, you must you know, take a lot out of that. Yeah, it's, it was a great college basketball game. I mean, I think the fans got their money's worth and big plays by big-time players. I mean, Adam and Mike were terrific and made some, some big-time shots and big-time plays. And Listen, a lot of games are going to come down to one or two plays at the end of games. It's kind of what rivalry games are about. You know, last year they beat us by 26 points at their place. This year we have them on the ropes at our place. I mean, we're trying to build something here. We're in year two of building something. You know, Mike's been at Brown for eight years and, you know, it took seven or eight years for him to kind of get over the hump and have a winning season. And I think he won 20 games last year. So he was able to have some time to build something. And we're trying to build, we're trying to expedite a building process. And I think we have the ability to do it with these young men. So we're going to keep working really hard and try and get better tomorrow. Some of the, uh, you know, the, the start wasn't great for you guys, but is that, I mean, is that something where you, do you chalk it up to, you know, it's first game, guys are still trying to get a feel of playing against someone else? Yeah, we were moving too fast. We were hurried. It's, you know, you're playing a home game in front of your crowd, and guys are, it's, it's, not, it's nervous energy. You're supposed to have it. I had it all day today. You know, it's, uh, it's the way you feel. You're amped up to play, and you're excited. So I think it was nervous energy, and once our guys got settled, I thought we played a lot better. Adam, just the, the back and forth for you guys, you know, it comes down to that, you know, one possession and, um, you know, just what was it like to, to be out there playing your first game and, and have it be so close? Uh, you know, it's, it's another learning experience, you know, get the young guys acclimated to what's going on and veterans, we just all trying to get it, keep it together. So it's just a learning experience all together. And what's it like with the, 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 the three guards that you guys have? It looks like it's just once it, probably midway through the first half, it's you three just kind of work really well together. Everything was fast and clean. Is that a look you guys like? I mean, we, we, we're teammates, you know. We, we always going to have each other back no matter who's on the floor. So if that's what Coach wanted, I mean, we all understand what's going on, and we're just going to compete for each other. So when we're in practice and we do do certain things, we just we just compete hard every time. Mike, what was it like to be out there for your first college game here with, with the Bulldogs? Um, at first, I was nervous, but once tip-off hit, came in the game and just got comfortable. What was it like? You had a couple of you know slick moves, a couple of you know good passes, just to to feed off the energy of the crowd. What what was that like? Um, yeah, I was just playing my game, trying to bring in a smart, bring in a spark, and just come in and give good energy. In terms of what he brought, Jared, just you know, what can you say about you know first first game for you guys and, and what he brought off the bench? Yeah, I mean, there's a reason I recruited him. He's a New York City kid. He's got a swagger, and the lights went on. He wanted to play. I mean, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Basketball is basketball. Bad players play, and I don't get I don't get too caught up in that. I've been around the game long enough to know that when the lights go on, guys go out and hoop. They play against older guys their whole lives. It's it's a basketball game. It's nothing bigger than that. I told the guys in the locker rooms, we love playing. This is what we do. I love coaching. I've been in basketball my whole life, but it's a basketball game. What's there to be nervous about? You go out and you play. I mean, this is an emotional week for me. I lost my father two years ago this week, and I told these guys. I had my son in the locker room with me. This whole thing is bigger than basketball. I love coaching them. and like I love being on the floor working with these guys and helping them get better and helping them improve. And we're going to become a championship program here. But it's about the relationships these guys build with each other. It's about them growing as a team. And it's November 5th. So they're going to continue to get better. And they're going to continue to get more comfortable playing with each other. we got seven new guys. And a lot of them played a lot of minutes. So our best basketball is going to be ahead of us. And I've said to people from jump, I don't know when we're going. We're going to be good. I don't know when. I don't know when it's going to click. But we're, we're going to be good because we're going to keep working at it. We're going to do things the right way. Uh, Adam, what are some of the positives you're going to take from this game that kind of help you going forward? We didn't, we didn't quit. You know, we came out a little slow. I mean, the, for us to come back and for the young guys to step up, we, it shows we have heart. I mean, we were a couple plays down and – Ultimately, that's why we lost, but, you know, we, we never gave up, and that's something we preach every day. Never give up on the play, never give up on the moment. So we just took it in stride and kept going. Is this, a, I mean, do you feel like you guys can be an exciting team this year? 
Of course. With the pace get, I mean. I, I do think we can be an exciting team. I think we are already an exciting team. So we're just going to keep going at it and keep never giving up, like I said. And people will keep coming out because that's what we're going to do. Coach, as far as um, Paul Eichers goes, too, I think that's um, you know, that, that's got to be a nice surprise for you guys as well. He came out of the field. He just absolutely you know, really showed out on the defensive side. How big of a piece is he going to be for you guys in the you know, the rebounding scheme and the defensive scheme and things like that. He's another one. I think his best basketball is ahead of him. And yeah, we, he's, he hasn't played an individual one basketball game before. He was a post. He went to New Mexico Junior College last year. So he's going to continue to get better. And I wouldn't say a surprise. He does that every day in practice. So we kind of knew what we were going to get from him. And he made some big plays. And there's some things you need to improve on. A couple drop balls, a couple free throws. But he's a guy who's going to continue to prove, improve. And I think all of our new guys, you just got to get acclimated to the pace the officiating, foul calls. It's, the game is different coming from junior college here or from high school here. So guys have to get acclimated to that. And, again, to me, it, goes, it boils down to one thing. You get back to work tomorrow and you try and get better. And that's it. And then we're going to go Rutgers and we're going to play our tails off. And then we're going to come back on Friday and we're going to give our guys a day off. And then we're going to work really hard Saturday and try and be a good team Sunday. And when you do that every day, you become a good team. So I think Hall will continue to get better. I think Benson Lynn had some struggles today. He's going to get better. Io and, and uh, Charles Pride, they're all going to continue to improve. They're, this group's best basketball is ahead of us. Okay, quick update on uh, Sebastian. We're going to see him this weekend. I mean, he's kind of day-to-day right now. He okay. warmed up today and wasn't able to really go. So uh, could be Thursday, could be Sunday. I mean, he's back. He went through warm-ups. He's kind of back close, but we're not – Again, in November 5th, I'm not rushing somebody back that, that has an injury. So when he's ready to go, and hopefully it's going to be sooner than later, but when he's ready, we'll get him back out there.